no, you're, not, you're on the right channel, don't worry. It's still a recipe video, but today we are in LA, baby. Living the best life. Today, we are gonna do a delicious no cooking recipe because yeah, don't know if you can tell, I'm literally just cooking on a, on a, on a garden table. So we're limited, but it's gonna be mighty delicious and it's using one of my absolute favorite things to come out of America. That's a big statement. Oreos. Oh, well done, you guys. I've eaten seven today already. Right, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna go, did I even say we're doing cheesecake? No. Let's do an Oreo no-bake cheesecake. Okay, we're gonna start off with our base. So what I've got here is 200 grams of Oreos that I've just blitzed up in a blender. So we've got a lovely fine crumb. And to that, we're going to add in 75 grams of melted butter. So what our butter's gonna do is going to help to solidify the base of our cheesecake and hold all of our biscuits together. Once your butter is mixed through, normally I do this in a cake tin, but again, we're in America. So we're literally gonna tip it straight in there and then using a spoon or your hands, or whatever you fancy, we're just gonna push that down. I'm gonna have to go with hands, I think. Now what you wanna do with this is pop this in the fridge that's gonna firm up and we're gonna crack on with our cheesecake mixture. <gasps> what just landed on my head? What's that? I kid you not, something just slapped me on the head. When I watched that back, something had just <laughs> literally... Is there anything there? Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like too sickly sweet a cheesecake mix. So I am mixing both cream cheese and mascarpone, but I found whipped Philadelphia. Ugh, this is not a sponsored post, but I damn wish it was. So we're gonna go for 400 grams of Philadelphia, 250 grams of mascarpone, and then to sweeten everything up, I've got 200 grams of icing sugar, and you're just gonna dump that in a bowl with a teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're gonna whip up our cream cheese delight. So what you're left with is a beautiful, fluffy, light mixture that's all over my hands. Yeah, that's everything I want it to be. I'm just gonna up it one more level and we're gonna throw in 100 grams of crushed Oreo into our cheesecake mix. I'm gonna wash my hands very quickly though because I just lick them quite heavily. I'm gonna do this with sheer strength. Oh, that actually worked. Crush them. Give that a stir through. All that's left to do now is to add it to our Oreo cookie base. There you have it, a beautiful Oreo cheesecake. All that's left to do is to pop this into our fridge. We're gonna let it firm up for a couple of hours and then it'll be perfectly ready to slice and serve. <laughs> It got hot and so we've moved into the shade, we've put the hair up and we've retrieved the Oreo pie cheesecake from the fridge. Granted, it's now been sat out for a little while so it's probably not as set as we want it, but that's okay. Yeah! That's the badger. That's just the taste test. Don't mind if I do. It's creamy. It's Oreo-y. It's got that sharpness coming through from the, the Philadelphia and from the mascarpone. Perfectly delicious cheesecake. And so little effort. Feel free to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday. And guys, why not check me out on social media at the Katie Picks on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, and I've got a website, katiepicks.com. You can win prizes every month if you subscribe to the newsletter. How many key messages do you want, Kate? Lots. So let's have a lovely day and I shall see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Holy cow, you're gonna you're gonna love that.